Now that we've finished the modeling, we can focus on the presentation and documentation. Therefore, in this lesson, we'll create saved views in the view map. Besides the model content, these views will also store important settings about the appearance of the elements, layer combinations, and scale, etc. So far, we've been working in the project map of the pop-up navigator. This provides a tree structure of the viewpoints of the entire BIM project. The view map, on the other hand, lists saved views. These can be configured, adjusted, or filtered for a particular design or documentation purpose according to your needs. This way you can create different types of plans, conceptual, structural, ceiling, fire, MEP plans, etc., from one single model. By default, this contains a predefined folder structure for architectural and structural plans filled with the existing stories, sections, and elevations. It's very important that you understand that when opening a view, the settings that were made previously in the project map will be overwritten. In other words, the project map inherits the settings stored in the views. ARCHICAD has some default views. Clicking and opening these would override our current settings, like the previously set floor plan cut plane height or the zone view options. This action cannot be undone, but there would not be any data loss in the model. So, to start this lesson, we'll need special folders for the 3D visualization, floor finish plans, and demo plans. Turn on the pop-up navigator, click on the top left button, and choose the Show Navigator command. In the Navigator palette, open the view map by clicking on the third icon from the right. Select the topmost item in the list. This shows the name of the project. Right-click on it, and select New Folder in the Context menu. Type 3D Renderings in the Name field, and click OK or hit Enter. The new folder is created at the bottom of the list. Select this folder, and drag it under the Details node. Be careful not to move it to any of the existing folders. Select the Structural Plans folder and drag it above the Floor Plans folder. With the Structural Plans folder still selected, use the View Name field in the Properties panel to change its name to Demo Plans. Change the name of the Ceiling Plans folder to Floor Finishes Plans.